Sometimes a man must follow a dream, even if it seems impossible. Sometimes courage must overcome doubt, determination must overcome adversity, and in a moment of truth, inner strength must be found. Every great story begins with a dream. Every great dream can only be told through a story. This is Brandon Crawford's story. On the stop, number 90, Brandon Crawford. It's been a long journey um, from high school. Um, 96 is when I graduated uh, Southside High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, I left there and uh, was working in a factory for a while. Um, and I ended up inducting myself into the Marine Corps in 99. Spent four years in the Marine Corps. Um, got honorably discharged in 03. Um, and came to Ball State in 04. Took summer, summer courses here, summer session. Um, in 05, I had to go back home to help my mom and sister um, and move and get situated. And I came back after I did that and um, came out to try out to walk on. Marlene Mitchell, our secretary, came in and says, Coach, I think I was uh, only coaching at that time or whatever. And says, There's a young man out here who'd like to speak to you about walking on. So you get a lot of people like that to come in. And, and I walked out and I, I looked at Brandon and I said, I mean, I gave him that look like, how old are you? And I didn't realize at the time, on my first encounter, how old he was. Brandon had come a long way, but what he needed was a shot. It worked out. I mean, they called me back and told me they were going to try to bring you in and see how you work out. And when I got a chance to come on with the team, I was just trying to compete every day. I mean, give it my all every day. My mom, she's always backed me 100% everywhere. When I was in the Marine Corps, when I was um, in high school, my sports, my mom, 100%. I mean, she always told me, don't quit. Um, I supported him. I mean, I wrote to him and prayed for him and just, you know, encouraged him. She just sent me this poem um, that I have back in my room, this don't quit poem. Um, I used to read that every day when I was in the Marine Corps. Brandon still had to prove that someone over 30 could compete with 18-year-olds. At his age, he never gets tired. He doesn't get tired. He, he can run all day and, and lift. He's not an old man. He's not wore down at all. His work ethic is unbelievable. I mean, that kid comes to work every day. There's no one that works harder on our team than he does. He's always up in the ante because he is a competitor and he has worked as hard as anybody in this Ball State program. This season, Brandon got the opportunity to play against Navy. It was great. I mean, I love the atmosphere. Just me to look around in the stands and see Marines and the Navy, the former guy, I mean, uniforms. I haven't seen that in a while since I've been in the military. It's very rarely that he does speak up, but when he speaks up, it's, uh, it's uh, for the good of the cause, and everyone turns their head. He talked to us before the game and told us what it meant to uh, take on a team like Navy, especially coming from a military background and the things that he was able to learn and experience. Some of those values like accountability, um, determination, uh, team, that's one thing, the Marine Corps is a team. And how the way we win the game would be from dedication, determination, and uh, loving each other as a team. I thought we were a better team and that if we uh, gave it our all, I think we would come out victorious. And I told him that that's what I was going to do when I get on the field. Um, I wanted, them to, I wanted them to see me giving him my all. With two seconds remaining, the score tied, and Navy preparing to kick a routine field goal, Brandon Crawford got into his stance and faced his moment of truth. And I was thinking, I gotta make a play. I gotta make a play. So when the coaches came out, called a couple of timeouts, and they set up the scheme that they wanted us to run. He wasn't even one of the primary guys that we set up to overload the block side. He was actually the only down lineman on the other side of the center. I was thinking, um, just keep my eye on the ball and watch the kicker and watch his foot. And if you get a chance, just get up there and, and swing for it, you know? And I got that opportunity. And I, when I got in the air, I seen the ball come off his foot, and I just swiped for it and hit my hand. As a coach, I was so happy that it was him who made the block because that game meant so much to him. I got off the field and I said, hey, you know, that was like a made-for-TV movie or something. We got in the locker room. I was like, man, it just hit me. Like, at the time, there was so much emotion, I wasn't even thinking about it. But then when it really hit me, I was like, wow. I just won the game, helped win the game. The moral of Brandon's story is simple. Don't quit. He's the reason that um, I think that I decided to go back to school. I've been out of school for 
Mm, maybe 40 years. He's living his dream right now as, as uh, playing football, but there'll be another dream coming along and he'll conquer that too. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit.